Hey kids, comics! Silverhaired Bronze Age Babe here, yakking about her comic book collection, and today an updated comic book room tour. Um, this is actually an excuse for me to try and use the video portion of this new iPhone that I got. Boy, do you have to spend a lot of money to get one of these things. <laughs> um, so I have added to the Neil Adams signed print collection uh, since his passing last month, which still I'm very sad about. Um, I went over to the claim sale that they have out of Continuity Studios and I picked up this Jacle. It's signed um, and it's a painted uh, version of the Detective Comics 1000 uh, variant cover. Um, and I think it's really lovely. I had a chat with a friend the other day who was down here who I, you know, I make everyone come down here and look at my comic book room and I was explaining that the top three are Neil Adams from uh, his heyday in the 70s and then this is an example of his later work and I, I really kind of like having um, those samples and of course you'll notice that there's room for a couple more prints. Hmm, what could, what could happen? What could happen? I don't know. Um, I want to thank Lady Fantastic, who had a post uh, a while back on her um, Instagram talking about these frames from uh, Gator Guard, um, and I thought they looked pretty cool because you can pick colors of uh, little screws uh, to go in them. So I have some higher grade copies of Lois Lane books, and I thought, well, that, let's play with those things. and. Um, I'm really happy with how that came out. Um, the Wonder Woman shelf has uh, expanded to include the Magic Lasso that Magic Lasso sent me when he uh, offered up a really lovely A-OK -okay, uh, a couple months back. Star Wars stuff, um, and there's <laughs> Wonder Woman. It's a bank with, uh, my brother-in-law gave that to me for Christmas and he included a quarter. <laughs> Um, again, more Gator Guard uh, um, f holders for some Neil Adams signed contemporary type books. Uh, again, I'm really happy with the way that looks. Now, this is an idea I stole from Superman in the Silver Age. Again, from his uh, Instagram, he had uh, both of these covers with Lois Lane in her, um, uh, in, in that super lady kind of <laughs> costume, which I'm, I'm sorry, I'm fumbling on it, but it's like, well, that's the smartest idea in the world. So how about if I bring my Lois Lane uh, action figure down here and pair it with those famous Silver Age covers? Hey, how about that? Um, Superman shelf, then we skip on down to basically uh, Batman, it's a Raza Ghoul, Neil Adams. Uh, pen and ink print I got uh, earlier this year, I think. Pulled out a very a favorite Batman uh, cover from the 60s and put it on there. And then I also got a Dead Man um, uh, Neil Adams signed pen and ink print um, that, boy, am I glad I got the, those things while I could uh, because there ain't no more. Um, I think this is all, well, actually, no, I have changed it up, because every time you go into your comic book room, don't you just want to change stuff up? Um, I, uh, decided to try and see what I, if I liked having some slabs up on the wall. Um, and I don't mind it. These are all Neil Adams stuff, so Neil Adams stuff is what you find on the wall. Um, and the other day I had some little kids down here um, and they wanted to know if I liked comic books so I took the covers off the the boxes there and showed them all. oh yes as, as a matter of fact I do here's some this is my detective run sometimes it's just fun to paw through those um, and I need to uh, here's my pride 20 22 uh, books that I need to um, uh, file away here. I have to tell you, you know, I did a Pride video last week, and um, 
uh, most people who commented were very positive and wonderful. There was one guy who uh, indicated that politics should be kept out of comic books. Thank you very much. And uh, I lost a few viewers uh, or subscribers and um, I got a couple thumbs down, which is very rare for my um, for my videos. Um, you know, I, I'm lucky because I have viewers who I think are of the opinion that if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Um, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised um, that uh, those, the videos wherein one talks about uh, the LGBT community, um, man, I guess you're, you run the risk of uh, setting off a little bit of a twitch in some people. So, well, there you have it. There is the latest in the Shebab comic book room. Thank you so much for uh, taking this little tour with me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.